on behalf of Ambassador Teft and the United States government, it's an honor and a pleasure to be here today. Um, Ukraine, like, uh, like the United States, like unfortunately so many countries in the world, uh, has had to confront the harmful effects and the social challenges of, of drug use. One issue of particular concern is the relationship between drug abuse and the spread of HIV AIDS. I'm glad to see so many important partners from the Ukrainian government, civil society, and international organizations represented at this conference. Uh, combating drug use and HIV AIDS is something that, uh, that will take all of us working together uh, without respect to politics. In February 2011, the U.S. government and the government of Ukraine signed a partnership framework to establish greater cooperation in countering HIV AIDS through 2015. The framework emphasizes our shared objective to reduce HIV transmission among most at-risk populations, including injecting drug users. The partnership framework also supports a commitment by both governments to create evidence-based drug and HIV AIDS policies that emphasize both a public health and human rights approach. The U.S. government recognizes the challenges to developing an effective drug strategy which addresses the problems associated with illegal drugs, including the prevention of drug trafficking, treatment of drug addiction, and other social and public health consequences, such as the much greater risk of HIV infection, infection the much greater risk of HIV infection faced by injecting drug users. International experience suggests that such strategies are most effective when they are based on objective data about drug use, uh, when they rely on evidence-based interventions, and when they target reintegration of drug users. Ultimately, this data-driven approach reduces the harm caused by illegal drugs and benefits society as a whole. Particularly important is our growing knowledge about how to prevent and treat HIV AIDS among most at-risk populations. Medication-assisted treatment, called MAT, uh, which successfully allows injecting drug users to adhere to antiretroviral treatment and, prevent, and prevents the spread of HIV, is an important part of the answer. Medication-assisted treatment has been piloted and proven successful in many countries, including the United States. However, the benefits of MAT are not always understood by law enforcement, health providers, and others sometimes creating obstacles to patients seeking treatment. The draft strategy that you will be discussing during this conference provides an opportunity to ensure that evidence-based approaches, including MAT, are a major part of an integrated plan to prevent HIV AIDS in Ukraine. Although difficult, we believe we can overcome the challenges of drug abuse if we work together and target our resources, both human and financial, to those most at risk. We must seek viable responses to prevent and mitigate drug addiction, help people in need of treatment, prevent HIV among those most likely to become infected, and care for those who are infected. I wish you a productive conference and continued success in developing effective measures to improve the lives of Ukrainians, especially those in jeopardy of being caught in the wretched cycle of drug dependency. Your work is important. The United States is pleased to support and join you in saving lives and futures in Ukraine. Thank you.